In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create three banners infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide works. When I click the first banner comes, you can see here I've added the icon here and with some colorful bars and you can add the title and the detailed text here. I have added the banner number one and some shadow effect. When I click with a different color combination, it comes the banner two and then the banner three. So depending on the requirement, you can increase or decrease these banners. I have added one more slide where I have reduced the size of the banners. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, PowerPoint University, please subscribe to my channel and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my Telegram group with the help of this QR code. And if you like to support my channel, you can do it through PayPal or Patreon. I have provided the QR codes here. Add a new slide and change the background to any gray color background. Go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose the rectangle, draw the rectangle. Depending on the requirement, I'm going to choose this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline shape, fill, make it black, sorry, make it white. Then go to insert shapes. I'm going to choose one more rectangle, draw the rectangle, maybe this much size. Shape outline, make it no outline and now I'm going to choose a kind of a dark purple or you can choose any color of your choice and then go to insert shapes. From the basic shapes, I'm going to choose the right triangle, draw the right triangle, something like this shape outline, make it no outline and I'm going to choose the same color and here rotate. I'm going to make it flip vertical. All right let me just reduce the size a little bit more and then i'm just going to put it here all right so it looks like this so now both the shapes i'm selecting and i'm just make sure that this is properly aligned okay sometimes what happens here is it looks something like this okay so don't do that one so make sure it's properly aligned select by, by both the shapes by holding the shift key merge shape and make it a union all right then what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shapes. I'm going to choose the rounded corner rectangle, draw the rounded corner rectangle and you can see the small orange point. Just drag this inside, make it a uh, fully rounded and reduce the size shape outline, make it no outline shape fill. You can fill any color of your choice. All right. Let me just reduce the size here. And I'm going to put it here and then you can see the small circular arrow. I'm just going to rotate it like this. All right. So one, I'm going to put it here. Press control D. I'm going to put one more here. So depending on your requirement, you can increase or decrease the size. So this time I'm going to give some blue color. Now let me just select this one. Press control D. Now here I'm going to make this as a white. All right. So it looks something like this. It doesn't matter even if it is goes somewhat up later on we will uh, delete that particular part okay and then let me just select pink reduce the size a little bit make it more thinner all right you can just put it one like this and press ctrl d select this one maybe you can increase the size all right so randomly wherever you want you can just put that uh, shapes okay it's not necessary that only this place you need to keep it and then i'm going to select this white reduce the size again and i'm going to put it like this you can see here make sure that you have to properly align it okay and then i'm going to choose one more now this time i can choose maybe a kind of a orange or a kind of a gold color all right i'm going to keep it here one Press Ctrl D, reduce the size and I'm going to add one more here. So just randomly I'm just adding some shapes you can see here and again press Ctrl D and this time I'm going to give maybe a green color. All right. So let it will reduce the size. I'm going to put it here and again white. I'm going to add like this. So just random colors and random shapes I'm adding here. Okay. So need not, you did not uh, do the same thing. You can do it according to your own requirement. So let me just choose this color or green color. Press control D, reduce the size and I'm going to put it here like this. 
okay now what happens here is i'm going to what are the shapes which is outside of the the rectangle i'm going to delete that one first of all go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here like this and shape outline make it no outline right mouse click go to format shape and under fill increase the transparency okay so like this you need to add four or five because one two three things are outside so i'm going to add three boxes okay so you can just put exactly on top of that and one more by pressing ctrl d and make sure that it is properly aligned or you can just put it one by one also let me just select this one and this one merge shapes i can just simply subtract so i'm just taking this one i'll duplicate this one i'll keep it here again so whichever way you can come you are comfortable you can just select and subtract it now this one for the white all right i'm selecting this and subtract so below also i'm going to do the same thing just you need to make sure that this is properly aligned otherwise sometimes what happens here is you will cut unwanted you know if you see here this also i cut it more so no problem let me just adjust it later on all right and then this is the last one and this one i'm just selecting so you can see here i end up getting a shape something like this and select these options press ctrl g to group it all right the once this is done let me just group this also ctrl g i'm going to put it up and go to insert shapes select one more rectangle shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to make it black increase the transparency this is the shadow effect i'm going to give all right and then rotate a little bit all right you can put it like this and then send this to back so you can see here i have added the shadow effect and then go to insert if you're using the latest version you can add some icons to it so let me just choose any icon of the choice i'm just clicking this one insert put it in the center and graphic fill make it white and then go to insert text box i'm going to type title right align make it bold and put it here go to insert shapes select one rounded corner rectangle put one like this shape outline no outline shape fill you can give any gray color or any color of your choice then go to insert text box you can add detail text here this also i'm going to give somewhat gray color and put it in the center so once this is done i'm going to select all the shape press ctrl g to group it move it somewhat up hold the ctrl shift key i'm going to add the second shape and hold the ctrl shift key drag it down and the third shape so now depending on your requirement you can change the color if you want to some other color you can just choose here you can see here i can just choose like this or i can just choose whatever color depending on your requirement you can change it all right and then if you want you can just add one more uh, shape here by cutting uh, this one so let me just show you uh, for this you have to ungroup this one okay now go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the oval shape just highlighting the corner let me just make it transparent so only this much part okay so select the white shape and this one see because merge shape is disabled because i have grouped it so i have to ungroup it again okay so before grouping we have to do that one so now i can just make it a fragment delete this one and this one i can give this color all right the same thing you can use uh, different color combinations here 